remove anything else you have that would interfere with this. And we're also going to remove the front cap. Next, we need to figure out how to actually focus it. This may vary from scope to scope. So look at the manual. In my case here, I need to turn this front section here. And this is how you basically focus it by turning this. And then you can then lock it in place with this red ring here. Make sure, however you focus it, that you turn that a little bit. And then I'm going to lock this in place. And I'm just doing that so that I have a bit of room to play so that I can focus both inside and outside, depending on where I end up situating my camera. I'm going to be using this, which is a ZW ASI Air 1200mm small monochrome camera. It's a very common guide camera, but any small camera will probably work just fine. Make sure this is open here at the back, wherever you insert this. Again, it might vary from guide scope to guide scope. And we're then going to slide the guide camera in like halfway to start. You don't have to be super accurate here because we're going to be adjusting this later. I'm then going to twist this to lock it in and I'm going to insert the cable there. Now, if you're running this off an ASI Air, as I am here, then you're now good to go. If you're running it off a computer, make sure that cable, of course, connected to your computer. But now we're ready to go and power on our ASI Air and we can begin the focusing routine. 